on on. So the shadow pattern this week is inequality, which is at the root of all of our social uprisings. And I don't think I need to list all the examples of inequality and injustices that we see in the world right now. I will say, though, that we're seeing the children, the youth, starting to rise up in protest. And I remember listening to a lecture by Yogi Bhajan, the master of Kundalini Yoga, who was asked by one of his students, who asked him, what can we do about global warming? Now, I tried to Google this, but I couldn't find the source, so I'm going on my memory. But basically, he said that the best way is to gather all the children and bring them to City Hall and have them weep for our planet. So this image really touches the heart, doesn't it? Right, Because it's really a long-term view of our future. So, you know, in our, our so-called leaders, I say in air quotes, they don't, they're not really looking any further than a year or two, and certainly not about anybody outside of their sphere. So this is all shadow frequency, right? It's that consciousness of shadow, consciousness of fear that's leaving the planet. So we're going to see more of that this week, this inequality, shadow of inequality. And in order to move to a more equal society, we must move through this inequality first. So we need to see it, right? It needs to rise to the surface so that we can heal it, so that we can fix it, readjust it, come back into balance. So inequality leads to exhaustion. That's the programming partner of inequality is exhaustion. And these shadows are how we work together in community as a human species. So each person has a strong desire to contribute to society. Right? That's the truth. But we all need to feel that we're adequately supported. So there are more and more people you're working two, three jobs just to keep their head afloat. There are many people working full time, but they're still living under the poverty line. Many, especially the younger generation, the young adults are living from paycheck to paycheck, right, with this massive amount of student debt. And the people in the U.S., they're not taking care of their people, right, especially if they get sick, unless they have a lot, a lot of money. So we really live in this world of slavery, and what do you think this kind of survival, fears of survival, first chakra stress does to a society long term? Well, it leads more, leads more towards inequality of wealth and collective exhaustion. So maybe you feel exhausted with your many responsibilities and your worries about survival. And this doesn't just fall into the category of money. It could be transferred to your relationships, right? Or your body may be giving out, right? This will all bring up fears of survival. So these shadows of inequality and exhaustion, they're also about not feeling supported. And maybe you feel this, maybe you feel the shadow already. of Not feeling supported by your friends and your family. Not feeling supported by your boss, your work colleagues, maybe your clients or your students. Maybe you feel isolated and alone. You're out there supporting others, but there's no one there for you. This is also the shadow of inequality. It's the balance of giving to others and receiving from others is out of balance. So collectively, right, many people are not receiving adequate support right now and at the same time other people are taking and not giving adequately back to the collective so this only leads to the exhaustion of our species you know and many people feel they live exhausted lives right they feel unable to relax right it's this go 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 of the modern world so the original definition of the word exhaustion is to drain out so exhaustion is to experience the depletion of your life force energy. And this only leads to disease, premature aging, premature death. It reminds me of the movie The Dark Crystal. 
It's a great movie, by the way. It's a spiritual movie. You should check it out. Where the Gelfling, right? They're like the hobbits. They're innocent and pure, who are drained of their essence, right, by this machine, so that the sketchies, these are the bad wizards, can continue to survive because they lost their purity and innocence long ago. So these shadows of inequality and exhaustion deplete us of our essence, right? Our joyful, creative essence. Exhaustion is to be disconnected from your infinite source of energy. It's operating from the ego rather than from the divine. So how to move out of this shadow? Well, begin to see this pattern in your life. Where am I out of balance with my giving and receiving? And look at your relationships, right? Your personal relationships, your work relationships. What part of your life is out of balance? Do you spend too much time in the physical world and not much time on your spiritual self? Or maybe you take you spend way too much time on your spirituality and not enough time on your physical self? Do you spend too much time with other people and not enough time to yourself alone? Or you're too focused on other people's needs and not your own? Or you're hoarding your resources, your money, your time, your talents, and not giving to others, not giving to the collective? Or are you giving away all of your resources to others and then not receiving? So the gifts here from the shadow, because every shadow contains a gift, okay, the gifts here are equality and resolve, equality and resolve. So right now, a lot of planets are in the sign of Pisces, and this is dreaming, right? This is about dreaming, it's imagination, it's going with the flow, it's very feminine, and this is about resting. And it's also about connecting to higher dimensions of reality beyond this physical world. So these gifts, these two gifts here for this week, are about the balance between working and resting. And your shadow self may say, you don't understand. I'm a mother. I have responsibilities. I have no choice. I have to work. I've got bills to pay. This is your shadow talking. And the shadow is always rooted in fear, right? In this case, fear of survival. So life provides us moments of rest. It's like music. There are moments of pause between the notes. There are moments of rest between your thoughts. And if you're attuned to the energy around you, you're going to feel these times. Can you surrender to this energy and trust that all will get done without you really doing anything from your ego? This is where we're headed in the Aquarian age. There's a time for work and there's a time for rest. And this is what this gene key is teaching us. Time for work, time for rest. And if you're seeking the divine, if you're seeking God, you must become the divine. You must become like God. And this means to become more and more purified, more and more subtle, more and more refined. You know, the divine is subtle. It's not bombastic. It's not loud. Right? The divine doesn't drive a Harley and let its presence be known wherever it goes. So cultivate your subtlety, right? your subtle nature, and then you invite grace into your life, more and more grace. And that's what's really doing everything is grace. So cultivate your feminine nature, right? The qualities of patience, allowing, receiving, yielding, trusting in the rhythms of life, trusting yourself, your inner self. Okay, so do that this week. But I also, the full moon is on March 1st, so... I'm going to do a little blog, video blog, or a written blog or something about the full moon. But make sure that you're uh, connected, either subscribe to the channel or to my newsletter so that you can be alerted of that, the full moon coming up. And quite a few people have contacted me about one-on-one -on -one neutrino astrology readings. 
So I was on a, taking a break from those for a while and where I wanted to go with those. So they're more efficient for me and that other person. So I'm starting up those again and I posted more information about these one-on-one -on -one readings on my website. And also the Shadow Mining Soul Purpose Activation Program for Indigos and Creative Rebels. That registration is all opened up and it's limited to a small number of people that I work closely with. So um, if you think, oh, well, I'm not an indigo or I'm not a rebel, I'm not special, then think again, right? Because if you like these videos, you are an indigo creative rebel. So this program you're going to learn about yourself and it's customized for you because I specifically work with your unique chart and all the you own all the videos, the audios, the PDFs. And plus you get to meet other kind of crazy people like you. So the shadow this week is about support. So this is a good way to reach out for support by taking this program and also uh, the Shadow Mining Inner Child program is starting up and it's self-directed. So it's not live. It's self-directed study. So you receive all the materials, right? You receive everything except the group calls. There's no group calls. There's no one-on-one -on -one calls with me. And there's no like extra support. Okay, so of course the price is less expensive. And the start date can begin whenever you're ready. Okay. So this is a good way to introduce yourself to Kalos Yogi programs too. So check that out on my website and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And this is where I post daily about the energies of that day and subscribe to my channel. Click the red button below and the bell to be notified when I drop a video and please leave your comments. I really love reading the comments and I didn't receive too many last time because there's a flow here that serves me so that I can serve you. And the old Piscean paradigm that I'm the teacher and I know everything and you don't. This is separation, this is duality. And in the Aquarian age, we're all one. So this is the teacher and the student are one. So one in consciousness, we're just playing different roles. Okay, so please leave your comments and please share this video with people that uh, would be into this message. Okay, so have a wonderful week. Satnam.